Oh! Oh, that was nice. Alright. When I was making my video on the Bizarre Bargain, I casually picked up a Quickie Bomb Launcher to prove a point that it's a great secondary for countering snipers. And it is! The sticky sniping capabilities and high damage on fully charged stickies make it a fantastic long range harassment tool that's great for forcing a retreat on or outright killing a pesky sniper. What I didn't account for was how much I'd end up adoring this weapon on top of this functionality. I didn't think I would. I thought I'd hate it going in. Listen to me talking about it in my Future of Bad Weapon Academy video. I had no idea what I was talking about. I have very little experience with it, but it makes sticky spamming easier and more effective, so that can only be a good thing. Hell, I wasn't even sure what its stats were. I thought it was just good for sticky spamming, but no, there's a lot to this weapon that's worth looking into. So, the Quickie Launcher's stats are actually pretty complex. Let's start from the top. It's able to destroy enemy sticky bombs. This is a very useful attribute, but it's one I'm not a huge fan of. It kind of robs this unique stat from the Scottish Resistance, but makes it a lot easier to do as a result of the next stats. It has a shorter arm time, 0.2 seconds shorter to be exact. This doesn't sound like a lot, at all, really, but it is pretty noticeable, especially when you sticky spam. If you just hold down a right click while firing, your range is effectively lowered, meaning you're going to have to be more precise with your detonation timing. But despite being faster at sticky spamming than stock, it's not the main draw of this weapon. And on the subject of range, your charge time is also decreased by a ridiculous 70%. You can launch a sticky across the entire map in just over a second compared to stock and the Scottish Resistance's 4 second long charge. And as you charge that sticky, you increase the damage it will do, up to 35% more damage at full charge. This is of course factored in with its base 15% damage penalty and all that complicated multiplicative math that comes with that which I'm not even gonna fucking bother with. And to round it all off, it has a clip half the size of stock, so 4 stickies instead of 8. So this seems almost like the opposite of the Scottish Resistance, a weapon I also really enjoy using. And they both have something in common. They both feel very much like secondary weapons. Demo is in this unique state where he effectively has two primary weapons that do similar damage at similar ranges. However, the Sticky Launcher, in a lot of situations, outclasses the Grenade Launcher, and some demos will opt out of using it entirely to gain the health benefit of the booties or even the minor benefits of the base jumper at very little cost to them. Because when you have 8 explosives prepped without needing to go to your Grenade Launcher, Anyone being left alive in the aftermath is usually on you in the first place. Both of the damaging Sticky Launcher unlocks seem to push against this two primary style. The Scottish Resistance makes you very, very vulnerable, unless you're using it in conjunction with your Grenade Launcher to pick off enemies who get too close while your bombs aren't ready. This makes it not particularly viable as an effective primary. You can try it, but it's not going to do you any favors compared to stock. The Quickie Bomb Launcher, meanwhile, has lower damage on uncharged stickies and a halved clip, meaning it's not nearly as good for cutting through an entire team the way stock is. The relationship between stock and the Quickie Launcher is, in my eyes, roughly the same as the relationship between the stock rocket launcher and the direct hit. The direct hit being my favorite rocket launcher, but someone had to beat me to that punch, so fuck it. I get the Quickie video. Much like the direct hit, the Quickie Launcher is good at close range combat and single target elimination. The shorter fuse time means you can get enemies much closer to you than before, but perhaps just as importantly, or even more so, the extra damage on charge stickies means, at close ranges, you can one-shot light classes, and in the most extreme cases, which is to say if you and your target are standing on the sticky, you can even one-shot medics. This is an attribute I find especially useful when rounding corners. If you pre-charge, you can easily save yourself from getting caught off guard and do a hell of a lot of damage. And as if the sticky sniping didn't make it good enough against snipers, if you jump over to one, charge your next shot in mid-air, and plop it down on his feet as you land, poof, he's gone. This of course leads me to the next point, sticky sniping. The faster charge time means you can hurl high-powered stickies across the map very quickly which is excellent for catching out retreating enemies 
or picking off targets who would normally be out of your range. Not to mention, the fact that you're ramping up the damage of your stickies means the long range fast detonating crits with this thing can be... well, are, are you sitting for this? Yeah, if you want to see more examples of why the explosive headshot upgrade for Sniper should never ever ever make it into the base game, I'd highly recommend looking at my recent Scream Fortress video. I got a lot of good example clips of that. Fucking Crumpkins, man. Anyway, this puts the Quickie Launcher in an interesting spot, where I feel it's strongest at close range and long range, but weakest at demo's normal specialty, mid range. But that's where your grenade launcher of choice comes in handy, and you can be versatile with this choice too. If you want to be a pure projectile sniper who hates engineers and loves reloading, you can use the lock and load, or you can use the loose cannon to really specialize in mid-range spam with your primary while covering your long and close range weaknesses with the quickie launcher, or you could just use stock or the iron bomber for nice, reliable, all-around damage. Like I said, it's a fantastic secondary weapon. It covers weaknesses of both the grenade launchers and sticky launcher while still having its own well-balanced drawbacks. The skill ceiling on sticky sniping is pretty insane if you want to get the best results. You have to know the arc of this incredibly fast projectile and get the timing just right to catch a retreat and do respectable damage with your detonation all while managing your ammo. It kind of makes it feel like this hybrid between the detonator and the loose cannon, with the charging and the precision aim and timing. In fact, the skill ceiling thing is the story with this weapon in general. I went into using it thinking it would be completely brainless, only to find it rather demanding in all the ways that satisfy my brain hole. You have to know when it's a good idea to use it, when it's a good idea to sticky snipe or plop a sticky down near your feet, or use your grenade launcher, or even just sticky spam to the best of your abilities. Because that's another thing. The smaller clip makes every sticky count. Unlike the Scottish Resistance where you have to manage traps, now you have to manage individual stickies. And sometimes it is a good idea to go all... But you won't be as effective with this as stock. What it lacks in sustainability and crowd control, it more than makes up for in single target elimination and combos. You're going to be switching between your grenade launcher and quickie launcher a lot, as your effective range constantly waxes and wanes with the tide of battle, and this will give you the opportunity to do a lot of sick ass combos. Now don't get me wrong, I know you can do the same thing with the stock launcher, but I feel like combos are far more encouraged with this set because you can't just keep throwing down stickies without putting yourself at risk of getting caught out without any at all. And the faster detonations make this process feel a lot more snappy and satisfying. It's also important to mention traps while comparing it to stock. This thing can still lay down traps, but it's clearly not what it was designed for. The lower base damage and clip size means if you want the same trap laying potential as stock, you're going to be spending a lot of time reloading. And if you want similar or superior damage to stock, you need to spend a lot of time charging each sticky individually as you place it. This is fine in the beginning of the round when you're setting up and have a minute to kill anyway, but past that, it's usually better to just move forward. And that's a big part of what I like about it. This thing really pushes you to be aggressive. I really meant what I said when I talked about this being the opposite of the Scottish Resistance. If I'm going on offense, then this is the launcher I'd want to use. Charge stickies do better damage than the lock and load to buildings, and also cut through their nearby engineers. And against mini sentries, you can one-shot them. It's not the best upside considering your grenade launchers outside of the loose cannon will always one-shot them too. But hey, if you're out of grenades and see a mini, just charge it for a second and delete it from existence. This increases your range and effectiveness against engineers without needing to resort to the lock and load. But this does come at the cost of effectiveness against them at closer ranges. Like if I was a medic and I saw a quickie demo and a stock demo, and I had to choose one to uber into a nest, I'm picking the stock demo just because he can sustain himself much better for the uber's entire duration, and he's not spending a lot of that time charging his stickies. But that just means if you're going solo without a medic, it's a great option. This is especially the case for me as medics in general are fucking allergic to me. That might explain at least part of my bias. 
Now, it's definitely worth talking about the drawbacks. I won't pretend they don't exist. The smaller clip size is the biggest one, and it's pretty important. It doesn't just affect your sustainability in longer fights or against larger groups. It means you're going to be reloading a lot. And for impatient players, this can get old. Granted, you don't have to reload a full clip of 8, but if you use a full clip of 8 stickies, it's usually because you've either set up a huge trap, or just got done wiping out half the enemy team. So you've earned a bit of downtime to get that back up. Using 4 shots with the quickie launcher is pretty standard. If anything, there's plenty of situations where it can feel like it's not enough. And it means you hit that threshold where you reach zero and can't defend yourself a lot more often. However, I think that's balanced out by just how much more effective the individual stickies are in the close ranges where you're most vulnerable anyway. At that point, if you flub all four stickies, you kind of deserve to be dead. If you use your grenade launcher in conjunction with it, it's not as bad. But this can also lead to situations where you're completely spent on both weapons, which can be embarrassing. But that's just another part of the quickie launcher life. This is a demanding, high skill, big brain weapon that asks a lot of you, and I respect it for that. There's really a lot going on here. There's resource management, getting your timing right, knowing when and how to use it in what situations. It's so much more than meets the eye, and I love it for that. You might be saying this comes down to my bias against the stock sticky launcher and sticky spam, and you would probably have a point there, but maybe that is the point. If you're the same way as me, and looking to play demo in a more cerebral way, then giving this thing a shot and getting over that skill gap might be the thing to get you back into the class without needing to lock yourself into a more defensive role. If you prefer the stock launcher, or if you're with me in the Scottish Resistance camp, or if you're that bastard using the sticky jumper on bad water so you can fly all the way to spawn and destroy my teleporters and spawn camp my teammates with your grenade launcher, then I can't exactly convert you. Play however you want. Whatever's the most fun for you. But as for me, well, I think I found the new favorite with the quickie bomb launcher. Oh, that poor bastard. <laughs> 